Finally tonight, Vincent van Gogh is having a moment. The Dutch artist who only sold one known painting in his lifetime and considered himself a failure is drawing big paying crowds, even in a pandemic. Enter this historic building in Chicago and travel through time into another world. Immersive Van Gogh bathes the space and the spectators in Vincent Van Gogh's art. It's a new way of experiencing art. It's part exhibit, it's part film. Toronto-based Corey Ross is one of the show's producers. Italian digital artist Massimiliano Sicardi created it. He makes an animated film that happens all around you and physically you're on the move, moving through the art itself. This is incredible. Sicardi's exhibit in France appeared in the Netflix hit show Emily in Paris, creating buzz before immersive Van Gogh opened in Toronto and then in the U.S. in February. Why did you choose Chicago for your U.S. debut? What works in Toronto seems to work really nicely in Chicago. I, I don't know if you'll take this as the compliment that I mean it to be, but Chicago to me is the most Canadian of American cities. You have an audience that loves to come out for art and theater and is involved. Opening mid-pandemic meant a drive through option in Toronto, temperature checks, masks, and social distancing circles, and an unexpected boost in sales. I think people are coming to the show for a release and you, you just like it's whew, you can relax and, 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 and get out finally. It was very emotional. Um, it, it almost brought a tear to your eye just being thankful that we're out and about and able to do this. If they did this with multiple artists and everything, they would love it. Did you take any photos for Instagram? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, did you? Uh, no. <laughs> Instagram-worthy scenes are part of a wave of experiential art, including other competing Van Gogh shows and even yoga here in Chicago, drawing younger generations to classic art. What would you like the public to walk away with? Your eyes will be open to a whole new type of, uh, of way of experiencing art. But I think the most important thing is let's rip that Band-Aid off and get back into theater and get back into art galleries and get back into shows, get back into concerts. And this is a great way to start.